this is Pallavi Pujar. I am the expert of Rasayanika. Today I have come up with the new topic as I have done in the previous session. As you know, the qualifying CSIR net exam is prior to many candidates. But after clearing the exam, it will be confused, right? You will be in confusion state that which job is good for us or which opportunity we have to choose. So in order to clear all your confusions, I have come up with a new topic that is top 10 pharma and chemistry jobs after qualifying CSIR net or gate examination. So without waste of time, let us start one by one. So the first job is research scientist. So research scientist, whenever we will think, we will get in our mind that it is R&D, right? R&D is the research and development. Okay, so R&D is the most core talked area of all pharmaceutical industries. So the work in research, whatever the organization they do, so it will be divided as pure and research. So it will be divided as pure and research. The pure is mainly depends on the basics. Okay, so whatever we understand everything, it will be advancing our basics okay so the basics of all the advancing things whatever we do have that will be done with respect to the pure research and the next thing is so this is one and the next whatever we know is applied research so applied research where whatever the information we have gathered that will be whatever the information we have gathered that will be applied with respect to the new formulation of the product. For example, if we are working under some kind of new generics like new culture innovation generic, so that must be worked in such a way that the new drug may be formulated or the new drug application may be done with respect to the research work. So such type of work can be done by the research scientist. So some of the topmost institutes where you can join as a research scientist role that I have mentioned here. So you can go one by one. So that is first I have mentioned the IIC and lastly, nextly the CSIR, TIFR, IIT. So many IITs you can see Bombay, Madras, Guwahati or Kanpur. So, so many IITs you can work as a research scientist in topmost institute of India. And last I have mentioned the BARC also. So you can work as a research scientist in many topmost institute of India. So after qualifying CSIR net exam, if you want to really want to join as a research scientist, you can grab this opportunity. And the next job is scientific laboratory technician. Scientific laboratory technician is nothing but just you have to conduct some lab based experiments and trials with respect to some new drugs or the new formulation of the products, whatever the product you are forming. Okay, so here you have to work along with the research analysts who will be working with you and you have to work under their guidance. So many uh, laboratories like chemical laboratories are there. So there you can join as a scientific laboratory technician also. So the job three is PhD that is doctoral or postdoctoral degree. So most of the universities or the organizations will be giving the PhD degree for most of the CSIR qualified students. So mostly they select only the CSIR net qualified students. Here what will be given is like some kind of students will be like how they must be um, earning simultaneously along with their studies. So for them it will be good opportunity. So here in the beginning the stipend for the GRF role Okay, so the GRF role will be given about 31,000 plus HRA for the first two years and the next the stipend will be increased to 35,000 plus HRA for the role of SRF and the SRF role will be given only to the selective students. So that will be set by the CSIR only. Okay, that is what the PhD students. So if you want to really earn your PhD, you can join any research organizations or institutes. So that is what regarding the PhD. And the next is research fellow in laboratories and companies. So if you don't want to join or if you don't want to do PhD or if you don't want such type of hectic works as a research scientist the, do, you can join as a research fellow in chemical companies. For example, you know that Biocon, right? So Biocon is a chemical company where you can join as a research associate trainee also. You can earn your research fellowship here and or else you can join Sinjin also and nextly you can join Teva Pharmaceuticals also. So the Teva you can join as a scientific, as a research fellow in laboratories. Okay. So here what you have to do is you will be given the training peri period about uh, about six months or three months according to the chemical companies whatever I have mentioned here according to them there will be some kind of training period you have to work in training period 
then you will you will be thoroughly know about all the techniques what they are going to do with respect to their formulations and all next what you have to do they will change your designation after once you complete your training then the actual work starts so you can work as a research fellow trainee or the research associate trainee in chemical companies also laboratories also this is what the job for and the next job five is lecturer or professor lecturer or professor really if you want, don't want to join as a research scientist or anything then if you have interest in teaching field then you can join lecturer professor in private or government colleges or universities most often you can join universities also because you have qualified csir net exam so if you really want to change the in uh, if you want to change the indian education system then you can join as a lecturer or professor and the salary range will be changed okay in the beginning it might be 37 to 67000 and next the salary will be changed the salary range will be changed in about one year or one and a half year so that is what regarding the lecturer or professor and the next is public sector undertaking jobs public sector undertaking jobs where you can see ongc and ntpc ongc is what so the first thing is ongc and next is ntpc ongc is oil and natural gas corporation which is mainly owned by the indian government where they do work on the crude oil and the natural gas that is what ongc and the ntpc is national thermal power corporation where they do mainly work or work on the electric activities so ongc and ntpc you can join after qualifying your gate examination once you clear your gate exam according to your ranking so some kind of ranking will be there means some kind of cutoff the top cutoff where you do come so based on that the interview will be held in the ongc or ntpc so then you can join uh, okay uh, in ntpc or ongc so the designation will be changed and the pay scale of the designation will also change and this is what regarding the ntpc and ongc so similar to that some of the other organizations also i have mentioned here that is igcr tifr and iac dae so these all ioc so these all organizations based on your csir net ranking you can apply as a uh, public sector undertaking jobs so this is what last and then seventh job is chemical industries chemical industries where most of the chemicals are mainly produced in industries itself so normal days whatever we can know like detergents foams polymers petrochemicals so most often all the chemicals are mainly produced by the chemical industries only so such type of chemical industries where you have the opportunity to join after qualifying your csir net examination so that is what the chemical industries we know and they also you can join so that is topmost one in india and next is analytical chemist analytical chemist in the sense what you just have to analyze every molecule every sample so analytical chemist is the one where you analyze everything before performing any test we will analyze every sample right so the analysis of samples can be done based on the molecule okay so the everything analysis and preparation of the reagents solutions because before performing any test we must know how to prepare the solutions if you are thoroughly good enough in case of molarity molality normality concepts so then you can go ahead with respect to the analytical chemist job so most of the companies in india are providing this role so you can join as an analytical chemist okay so this is what the regarding job eight and the next job is pharmacovigilance similar to life science students the pharmachemistry based students you can apply for this job pharmacovigilance is mainly uh, based on the study and prevention of the adverse effects of the pharmaceutical products so if any pharmaceutical product is harming us then what we have to do we have to analyze that sample so in such case the chemistry students are mainly eligible for that job so you can join pharmacovigilance okay some kind of companies like iqia like iqvia or else teva so these all kind of pharmacovigilance companies where you can join this is what after qualifying your csir net exam and nextly scientific officer the final and foremost is scientific officer the scientific officer where it is mainly managerial role if you are good enough in managing everything then you can go ahead with respect to the scientific officer job where 
the once you join as a scientific officer in topmost universities uh, in topmost institutes or organizations as i have mentioned here these are the csr laboratories csr ncl csr iacb csr iict okay so these all cdri iip so these all are the laboratories where you can join as a scientific officer so some organizations like dmrl bark i am tech even these are the organizations where you can work as a scientific officer if you are working as a scientific officer in the beginning at last as the time passes you can change your scientist ranks also because there will be some kind of ranks like a b c d like the e etc so based on your working performance the rank will be changed according to your knowledge so this is what you can work as a scientific officer that is the most good opportunity for all the csr qualified candidates so this is what the last job what i have explained since from the beginning from job 1 to job 10 i have given all the opportunities various career after qualifying your csir net exam if you have any doubt regarding these all you can ping in the comment box we are always ready to clear your queries again we'll see you in the next time i hope the given information is helpful for you see, till that bye bye thank you